I didn't have any hope at all that the judge was going to set a bail bond, so we're not surprised by that at all. And we will get a preliminary hearing in, uh, on April the 2nd. Uh, so I, all in all, I think this has been a very good day for us. Dick DeGaren, big defense attorney in Texas. I think we all know that. Very good at his job. Let's get right to it. Criminal defense attorney and former prosecutor Phil Holloway is here. And we've invited criminal defense attorney Craig Mordock to join us after seeing his thoughtful live tweets during today's hearing. Uh, Phil, you know, I, I want to I go to Philip next here. Uh, let's talk about what was found in his room when they found uh, uh, Robert Durst. More than $40,000 in cash, mostly in $100 bills. Net, a head-to-neck late latex mask, an actual birth certificate, and his passport. For it. Another interesting fact, he checked into the hotel using the alias Everett Ward. That looks to me like he's a flight risk. So I, I assume you're not surprised by this decision. Absolutely not. He, he's a severe flight risk. And as you were going down that laundry list of things, I had the exact same list, except uh, one thing that uh, was interesting to me is $117,000 in cash he reportedly shipped to himself to be received in Louisiana. That's in addition to the $42,000 in cash that they found on him. Even his lawyer, Dick DeGaren, who is one of the best of the best, especially uh, out of Texas and in the Louisiana area, he said uh, that the chances of being granted bail were slim to none, and none just left town. And that was before the hearing, I think he was quoted as saying that. So I don't think anybody's surprised by this decision at all.